Okay, so Orange Pi OS has come out in China, but not in the UK. So the version that you can download from the forums is in Chinese. So let's show you how to change it from Chinese into English. Now, obviously I've already done this because you can see everything is English. So I'll go back to the bit where I show you how to do it. So it's settings and then I need system which is here, which also has languages in it. Then at the top, we've got language and input. So I need to add a language, which should be here somewhere. I think if I click on this one, yeah, and plus, and scroll down through until we see English. So that actually says English and it's converted it to Basque, uh, but it does, yeah, it does say English. So United Kingdom, what does this say at the top? Remove, oh yeah, so I could highlight this one, hopefully, and then click remove, if it will let me remove Chinese. Ah, now I get a little checkbox. Now I can probably do remove, oh yeah, there's a bin up there, look. And yes on the right, is it? Remove. Okay, that's better. Uh, so now if I go back, all of the settings are here. Uh, so you can see it's detected my keyboard. I can use the cursors to go down. Spell checker. Well, let's keep going back. Gestures and back again. So we can search through settings now. So say for instance, we wanted to do system. Apologies for the noises, the builders are, are here today. Uh, so system, you can see it comes up. So all of that is working. So it looks like we're pretty much there. Probably need to change the region. Although I don't know if it's done that. Yeah, the time is right. So uh, the time and the date is correct anyway. Now if we go down to the bottom here, you can see settings is already open. Uh, I quite like the way that it puts an app there. Uh, we can see we've got nice icons. So window style icons uh, and file manager. Yeah, looks more like a desktop operating system than Android, but we don't still have a, a like a sidebar or a menu, which I think I've seen in other videos, but that's all right at this stage. So in this early version, uh, the only app store is this one, which is still in Chinese and stays in Chinese, even though the rest of the system is in English. But if I click on it, just to show you what it looks like, uh, so you can see, uh, and also things come up windowed, which is really nice. I don't know if they snap. No, they don't snap but you can maximize or minimize. So if I get another app open, what happens? Does it overlay? So there's a calculator that, although are they resizable? Well, it looks like they might be. Yeah, there you go. So that's resizable and they're all movable. So it doesn't look like it's gonna put, if I click on that, you'd expect the behavior to be that this would appear on the top. I don't know why that happens like that. What happens if I open something else? So the clock. And then let's minimize that a lot. And yeah, that's weird. So the most recent one stays on the top. What happens if I go to all apps? Okay, so it does that. So if I want Chrome to be on the top. So Chrome comes up. If I click on these, that's really weird. So to put something on the top, uh, you need to go like this and then say for instance, the app store, and then that becomes on the top. And where did Chrome go? Yeah, it's not um, the most logical system, I would say, uh, at this stage. It is only in beta, um, it's uh, 0 0.0.3. Yeah, I'll play around with this more. I'll install the Google Play Store. I've got a video later on today on me installing the Google Play Store in Android 12, which should work the same on this build. Uh, although I think maybe the Android 12 build is better anyway. Uh, I mean, this is a start, but it's, yeah, by no means perfect. Anyway, I'll play around with it. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.